what the type of uh, proof by induction they want you to do on the syllabus is proof by induction involving matrices and I don't know if matrices have been taught up to this point in the syllabus so I don't, I'm not quite understanding the order but you can always come back and reference this after you've learned matrices or if you wanted to get ahead and get an introduction to matrices all you need to know for this is how to do matrix multiplication then you can check out my video playlist on matrices I'll link up uh, in the, the cards above and in the description but we'll get into this this proof if if you don't want to do matrices now then just go watch something else and come back to this later on in the year but anyway so we've got a proof for all n in the natural numbers that this results true so the matrix 3 minus 4 1 minus 1 to the power of n is equal to 2n plus 1 minus 4n n 1 minus 2n um, for natural numbers n and the natural numbers are the integers that are greater than or equal to 1 the counting numbers right so if you remember from our last videos the first thing we do is show that this is true for 1 so taking n equal to 1 the left hand side just comes out as 3 minus 4 1 minus 1 okay and the right hand side is 2 times 1 plus 1 minus 4 times 1 1 and 1 minus 2 times 1 and that's equal to 3 minus 4 1 minus 1 brilliant so it does work for n equal to 1 now we want to prove that if it's true for n equals k that implies it's true for n equals k k plus 1 so assuming true for some n equals k uh, gives That three minus one, one minus one to the power of k is equal to two k plus one minus four k k one minus two k. So what we want to do is using this result. So we're saying if this result is true, what can we then say about uh, k plus one? And if we can use this result to show that uh, the result we're trying to prove is true for n equals k plus 1, we can then do our induction. Right. So, now we're considering n is equal to k plus 1. So from our left hand side, we've got 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1 to the power of k plus 1 and by indices laws which we can apply to all things not just matrices this is the same as 3 minus 4 1 minus 1 multiplied by 3 minus 4 1 minus 1 to the power of k so when you multiply two things together that are the, the same you add the powers that's a general rule we're all familiar with, but 3 minus 4, 1 minus 1 to the power of k, by our assumption, is equal to 2k plus 1 minus 4k, k 1 minus 2k. Okay, so now what we have to do is this matrix multiplication and see what we get. So this turns out to be equal to, going along this first row, we get 3 times 2k plus 1, so that's 6k plus 3 minus 4k, because we go along this row down this column, All right. and then for this next column across, 
sorry, we're going to do 3 times minus 4k, which is minus 12k. Then we're going to do minus 4, 4 times this bottom term here. So that's going to be minus 4 uh, plus 8k. Now we go along this bottom row, down this first column. So that's going to be 2k plus 1 minus k. And then we go along the bottom here and down this one here. Not supposed to be there, anyway. So this one is minus 4k uh, minus 1 plus 2k. And simplifying this. We get 2k plus 3 minus 4k minus 4, k plus 1 minus 2k minus 1, and this is equal to 2k plus 1 plus 1 minus 4 k plus 1 k plus 1 and 1 minus 2 k plus 1 and if we take a look at our result we're trying to prove here that 2n plus 1 minus 4n n and 1 minus 2n well that's exactly the same as this just n is equal to k plus 1 so that's perfect, that's what we were looking for. So now what we have, we'd have to write some sort of qualifying statement. I'm just going to write it briefly. So it's true for n equal 1. And if n equals k is true, this implies n equals k plus 1 uh, is true and well taking k equals 1 that means n equals 2 is true and then then 2 could be our k and then n equals 3 is true and so on so you have to write some sort of qualifying statement there but we've now shown that this is true for all natural numbers n okay Hopefully that made sense. It's the end of this little series on proof by induction. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Uh, there'll be more further maths videos coming this coming week. I believe the next topic is complex numbers. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one.